Hey, what's going on guys, back with another video on the PS5. What I want to show you today is how to put in your NVMe M.2 SSD once it gets supported by Sony. So this is the PlayStation 5 here, I've had mine since launch or just about launch. What we're going to do is first take off the front plates. I have a dedicated video which I will link up here on to see how to properly and safely remove your front face plates. Let me just move that out of the way. All right, so again, in a similar fashion, we just lift it and slide. Oh, perfect. Bro, so we're going to turn it around and this is where the NVMe slot is. So, bit of context, we only actually get about 600 gigabytes of usable memory on this thing, which is not enough. You use Call of Duty on here, you put Warzone, you put any other game on here, you're looking at 100 plus gig. So... We probably will need this so when the M.2 gets supported and uh, Sony releases that firmware where we can, you will probably want to go and buy yourself a new M.2 NVMe which supports into the PlayStation 5. So it's just this one slot here. You can only put one, I believe. So what I'm going to show is exactly how to unscrew this area, slot it back in and put the flat, uh, flat back on and uh, get it all covered up. All right. So once we've got the front faceplate off, this is the CD side as you can see. So this is the area here where the M.2 slots in. Um, to open it up, you get a star-shaped screwdriver. I'm just going to show you on camera, not sure how you can see it. Uh, I'll put a picture below. So perfect. What we're going to do is literally grab it here and just slowly screw it out. Lift it up. It is a unique screw, so keep that one safe. I'm going to leave it onto the side. And what you want to do is just grab it from the side and lift it up. That simple. All right, so this is a good piece of metal. Uh, again, leave it on the side. Just going to show you a close up of where the NVMe actually slots into. So it's just here. You just want to put it in to the side and slot it in. That simple. Again, we're not sure when exactly the internal storage will be supported. All right, once we're done, we're just gonna use the same piece of metal. Notice the flap here, it just slots right into the slot here. Nice and easy. And close it down. Get your screw, put it in there, and give it a nice, tight few turns. And that's it, nice and easy. I'm just gonna put the face face back on. Again, there is a video showing how to safely do this. I'm gonna do it very quickly here. So slot it in, slide, satisfying click, one more time, line up the PS logo with the corner, again slots in beautifully once I find the area. Perfect, and you're just sliding it in. Thank you for watching and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech tips and everything tech.